Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mana, and today I think we are going to play another scenario. Today, I have decided we are going to play the power couple scenario. I have a special couple that I have chosen for this scenario. Someone very, very near and dear to my heart has made me some Sims. I'm going to play with those Sims today. So the power couple is all about careers and romance and it is a difficulty easy. The description is a married couple working in business have a friendly bet going on about who will become a CEO first. Can their marriage survive the cutthroat competition? Can they make room in their busy lives for more than their ambitions? Both Sims will start out in the business career as assistant managers with some relevant skills. So the requirement is two sims who are young adult or older and they must not be related. And then the potential outcomes is one sim is a CEO, still married and soulmates with spouse. One sim is CEO, still married but not soulmates with spouse. And one sim is CEO but the couple is no longer married. So let's get in here and play with this new family. All right, this is Charles Howell and, and he has the aspiration of fabulously wealthy he is a perfectionist, a dog lover, but he is a snob. He has lofty ideals. And this is Phoebe Howell, and she is also fabulously wealthy, a romantic, snobbish music lover. So let's get them placed. All right, we've got a few skills. We have charisma level two and logic level two for both of our Sims, this is Charles Howell and his wife, Phoebe Howell, and they are a loving family who has very lofty goals. And let's get them in their designated jobs. Oh, they do have it already. They got their jobs and then they both need to work on a skill here. Practice speech. Level three, and they need need a very expensive computer. There we go. And then we'll get her working on her work stuff. We should maybe grab a lottery ticket just in case. Any extra cash would be awesome to have. Uh, fill it reports. I do believe that's under web. Yeah, there we go. I want some. some nectar and he wants to earn earn some money here oh yeah and then he can quit that by his lottery ticket and is she done yeah so then they can switch it up yeah that was a quite aggressive my goodness oh there there's our web get these guys all perfect for work tomorrow let's check out their relationship their sweethearts their spouses and co-workers he's gonna go to the bathroom while she's in there that's just a little weird maybe he can serve lunch of mac and cheese let's hope we don't burn the house down but i mean it is what it is i guess Oh yeah. She all done yet? So close. Mm, I'm going to zoom right through this this part here until they get ready for work in the next day. Oh, and it's harvest fest. They're going to go to work today. I got to edit. No day off of work. CEOs don't have days off of work. Get our day all nicely started. I see we have death at the door yet again. Creepy. Creepy gnome. Creepy gnome. They don't seem to want to do any of it. And they don't like sharing. Oh, he likes to decorate. We have more money. We would decorate. 9 a.m. We have a few more hours. Phoebe is ready for work, it looks like. She's got her lanyard already. Oh my goodness, my friend. Why don't you clean that up? 
for us. Oh yeah, hurry, hurry and eat. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta stop talking to your husband. You gotta eat. He's gonna play a dragon cell phone game. You better eat, sweetheart. I wonder what kind of CEO job they're gonna get. And everybody's off to work this morning. Leaving behind the creepy little gnomes. Ooh, dirty money. Going over some routine expense reports, Charles noticed some, some lines that don't seem to match up. Upon further investigation, he discovers that a lot of money is being funneled into some secretive executive's accounts. Charles doesn't have much standing in the company yet, but this seems like the kind of thing he should take it to the authorities. Right? Oh no, he's going to lose his job if he turns it all over. So uh, he's going to... He's just going to lose the paperwork. Oh, no. Oh, it's the same one for for Phoebe. Wow. Their companies are a little shifty. Well, she's going to lose them, too, because we don't we can't afford to lose our job right now. Alice Lewis won the lotto. That's not fair. I mean, the lottery was rigged. It's rigged. Oh, yeah, we made some money. Now what do we got to do? We just got to fill out some reports. Brighten her day. Oh, honey, <laughs> they sure do have lofty goals. Oh, they're talking about llamas. Oh my goodness, enthused about those other things. And I think then she's going to may do her, her reports. And our husband is going to get a jump on a grand meal of a fish di dinner. It seems very posh. To have to have a fish dinner or a supper get those reports filled in filled out and get all ready for the next day <laughs> and then these creepy little gnomes i'm not even interacting with them i don't need their shenanigans oh yeah our fish supper is done let's call it a grand meal Probably buy that decoration box just so he's not too upset. Oh, almost done. Almost done. He's having supper by himself, slaved over a hot stove, and he is done. So why don't we let him maybe watch some TV? Maybe we'll watch. We'll watch the action channel. Well, they're at least that they enjoy each other's company. They're both snobs. So that's great. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, cheer for that sport team. Oh, and she's going to watch the sports too. Now, what does she want to do? She wants to earn some money, search for vampire information. No, that's not that kind of a challenge here. Play in a leaf pile. Well, really have leaves in the common areas over here. Yeah, not much going on over here. We can't do that. Maybe she'll take down the decorations and then maybe we'll critique the work. <laughs> do you think he's going to get insulted if we critique him? Well, we don't really want to take off the death gnome, but he needs to finish his reports Everybody liked. Oh, and she's happy it's over. I'm going to sell all of our gnomes. For a good chunk of cash. Get leftovers, my friend. How are you doing? Maybe you should go to the bathroom. Brush your teeth. You better hurry, lady. Hurry, guys. You're going to be late. You're going to miss your bus to work. Off they went. Off to work they go. Oh. Head hunted. A competitor has contacted Charles to try to recruit him from his current company. 
should he stay loyal or move on to bigger and better things? I think he's going to move on, so he's not in the same. A competitor has contacted Phoebe to try and recruit her from her current company. Should she stay loyal or move on to bigger and better things? I think she's going to stay loyal. Charles takes on the new jobs. There's plenty of room to move up at the new company, so he should expect a promotion soon. Oh, hold on. We got to read this. Loyalty can be a good thing. Phoebe's boss catches on to the offer and gives Phoebe a bit of cash bonus as extra incentive to stay. So she got a thousand. He's going to work hard at his new job and she's going to work hard at her old job. So now they're not in the same companies and they can be competitive all they want. Yeah, Charles got a promotion. He is now a regional manager. And so he got a bonus of 281 and a bunch of other business stuff. Nice. Oh, and look at that. Phoebe also became a regional manager at her, her company. And she will also make 281. Nice, guys. Great job. Now what do they have to do? Charisma. Get that charisma skill. Yeah, I'll let her do that. He also needs that. He can maybe fill out his report while he waits for her to be done in the bathroom. He can get a head start for sure. I like his suit. His suit got snazzy. Phoebe's suit wasn't, it, it didn't change much. So both need level four to learn how to schmooze properly. I think I'm going to change Phoebe's aspiration to Maybe Mansion Baron? We'll try Mansion Baron. Own 15 pieces of art. Baby, practice speech. Oh, and we have a sentiment with Charles. How, how did we manage that? Spouse, co-workers, sweethearts, and smitten. Well, that's good. Okay, so we need to have a home worth 50,000. We'll slowly upgrade, I think, all of our appliances and things. So let's start by getting a better better stove like just the maybe the one one better but this one this one actually will work mm, oh no now we have a need a vacuum robot vacuum the high-end robot vacuum I think they would go for that I'm gonna pick purple so that we can see it. Did she reach her? Oh, she didn't. Look at our cute little pet robot. Oh, yes. Snobbly surrounded. <laughs> Still work. Oh, they have some days off now. So we'll zoom through our days off and get back to the CEO grind. I, oh, it's a welcome wagon. Oh, all right. Invite neighbor in. Oh, they look like the snobby neighbors, so maybe they'd be good to be friends with. It's a family heirloom. Oh, and she likes the fruitcake. I wonder if he does. Let's stop talking and let's see. We'll see if they're compatible for the long run. Oh, he likes it too. All right. Greet new neighbor. Well, hello. How are you? You look very snobby today. Are these two married? Oh, sh they are married wonder when these two got married. Oh, oh no, she aged up into an elder. Well, at least she didn't die at our house. Uh, mm, happy birthday? Ha happy, happy birthday. Oh, well, thank you for stopping by. Yes, practice speech. Work on your charisma. Both of you at the same time. So close. Let her catch up. Romance festival. Oh, n no. I don't really want to go to the romance fe festival. Skill building weekend. She might. She He's very powerful in someone's world. So she's going to go and schmooze with this. Maybe she might need to get money from him someday. Oh, look at that. The talent showcase. Oh, why is everybody sad? Did somebody die? Oh, oh, he is quite mad. 
Oh my goodness, everybody is just kind of upset. Oh boy, okay, let's uh, practice singing. <laughs> oh no, they were upset with me. <laughs> oh look it, I got some money. Somebody threw money at me. Well, maybe it's money for me to stop. Stop singing. <laughs> just stop. Just stop. Oh. <laughs> Our neighborhood is kind of icky, isn't it? I was going to try and start recycling to do my part. What about you? Do you think you might start recycling? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Husband of mine? <laughs> okay, let's, let's get a recycler for our home. Oh, he's so bored. He, he doesn't like the decorations. That's quite snobbish for sure. Oh, his favorite drinks are root beer. Root beer float. We're, oh, mock tasting music. Let's not, let's not do that. All right, then I think, I think these guys are just going to go home. When they're done their things. Off to sleep, everybody goes. Oh yeah, better go use that. Harpin, harpin. <laughs> hmm. Did Phoebe flirt with anybody? No. And then he just needs charisma. Oh, yeah. Practice that, get all that done. We don't have to worry about that. He is like so bored. T take a nap from being bored. Well, we can totally get a promotion. He's just really, really sick of being bored. Okay, he is done. She's going to have breakfast. Uh, eggs and toast when she wakes up. And she's gonna go jog that seems like a rich person thing to do to go jogging looks like she's gonna snootily walk oh there it goes there she goes yeah oh who is calling I read online about this performer that plays at the flea market apparently they're the next big thing want to come see if it's true yeah she'll go and see Uncomfortable. She need, really needs to go to the bathroom, I guess. Is there anything at the flea market that we need or want? Oh, well, we got some frogs. And then maybe we will watch the performance. Did, did we go to the bathroom or not? No, no, no. no. We, we need to use the bathroom. Or else you'll pee your pants and you'll be embarrassed. Oh, oh this lady is going to freeze to death. She's in her workout clothes. That's not good. Oh, I don't want to see anybody die today. Oh, lady, maybe you should uh, be encouraged to 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 uh, change into your winter gear. I think our uh, friend ditched us. Yeah, we're just done now. And I think we're just going to go home. Work. Everything is good for work friend here needs a bit of a nap but otherwise oh she's trolling the forums <laughs> that's funny that she would actually choose that throw the trash out clean up a bit let's critique his work because we're a bit of a jerk sometimes oh it's guys night at the bar well he's gonna go he's gonna go Gotta, you know, network and have a guy's night. Guy's night at the bar. Let's order a drink. Friendly, introduce ourselves. Try and cheer him up. Everybody's upset. Why is everybody upset? Is everybody dying? Who's about those cute puppies that he saw on the internet? Oh, yeah. Pose crazy scheme. Ooh, oh, it has something to do with a red serum. 
Oh, and some perfectionism. It'll be perfect. And we'll go on a plane. Brighten her day. Oh, she is very attractive to him. Talk about our money. We have so, so much that we want to have and buy. And, oh, yes, it's awesome. Ooh, his wife's not around. So he's going to get all frisky, I guess. Ooh, that sassafras in that is making him sassy. Getting all flirty. But I think he's just going to end boys night right here before things get a little too uncomfortable. He, he's flirty, but he's not stupid. He's not going to risk anything yet. Yeah, and then she's going to use the bathroom. He's going to get something to eat. And then everybody should probably just go to sleep for the next day. Oh, and off to work they go. Actually, socialize with some co-workers and she can work hard. Elevator encounter. While riding the elevator, Phoebe looks up from her phone to see that the doors open and the CEO of the company walk in. Will Phoebe say something to make an impression or keep quiet? Oh, she's totally going to say something. Phoebe launches into a story about a funny picture she recently saw online. The CEO gives Phoebe a strange look, then busies himself with his phone. The rest of the elevator ride passes in awkward silence. Oh, and they are home. And everybody came home. That's great. Offer career advice. That's really funny. And serve dinner of mac and cheese, maybe. Get a promotion. I think he would love to get a promotion. Make something of excellent quality. Maybe this macaroni and cheese will be it. Well, that's excellent quality. Oh, he went to sleep. Oh, and he is... He is aged up now, too. Buy an object worth 500. Friend, you could probably go home. Sure, if you, you can dislike painting. Everybody is asleep. Oh, did he do any of his reports? Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, and they're all gone to work. Fraudulent funds. Charles has noticed a pattern in his manager's expense reports, and it appears that the manager is embezzling money from the company. Does Charles report it or try to blackmail the managers into sharing the profits? I think he would blackmail. After hearing Charles's threat, the manager laughs and informs him that he records all conversations in his office. If the scheme is exposed, he'll make sure everyone knows that Charles wanted to be involved. He on the only thing Charles accomplished was making enemies with his manager. Ooh, his job performance was large. Oh no. Okay, well then he's going to work very hard today. She always works very hard, too. Oh, no. Very tense. Oh, yes. Phoebe got promoted to senior manager. She's been promoted to senior manager. She will now make an additional 24 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 82. She got a bonus of 527. Nice. Well, Charles shouldn't have tried to blackmail his boss, but things happen. Well, I'm going to leave it at that for this episode, and I hope you catch us on the next one. Bye now. Wow, Charles really shouldn't have tried to blackmail his boss. He probably would have got a promotion this time, too. Oh, well.